Sunrise in focus now and Oprah Winfrey has never been afraid to talk publicly about her battles with the bulge but it seems this time the talk show queen may be waving the white flag. Yeah, Oprah says she has once again fallen off the diet wagon but she stunned fans by revealing she won't be getting back on. She's been on the top of the television world for 20 years, but staying in shape has been Oprah Winfrey's biggest challenge. After two decades of trying to keep the kilos off, America's most famous yo-yo dieter confesses she has ballooned to more than 90 kilograms. In a brutally honest essay, Oprah stated, I can't believe after all these years, all the things I know how to do, I'm still talking about my weight. I look at my thinner self and and think, how did I let this happen? Oprah says she'll no longer worry about the scales and focus instead on being strong and healthy. Winfrey has famously struggled with weight gain from her earliest days on television. In 1988, she wore a slim pair of Calvin Klein jeans as she wheeled a wagon loaded with fat onto her set to show the 30 kilograms that she lost then. She regained all of that weight within two years and claimed she would never diet again. Recently, in 2006, Winfrey slimmed down again to 72 kilos. But now, only two years later, Oprah says she has put on another 18 kilograms, describing her recent struggles with an out-of-balance thyroid and a fear of working out. Now, it's up to her as to how she deals with being bigger. So how do you avoid being a yo-yo dieter and maintain the figure you want? Weight expert Dr Amanda Sainsbury-Sallis joins us now. Good morning to you. I suppose a lot of people thinking, if Oprah can't do this, she has all the money in the world, she can, you know, have a chef and a trainer and all the help she can and she still can't do it, how can the average person? What Oprah's doing is actually a fantastic move because research shows the more restriction and willpower you use to try and lose the weight, the lower your metabolic rate becomes and the more likely you are to gain the weight back afterwards. So the best way to break the yo-yo diet cycle is to take a step back, just like Oprah's doing, and focus on the healthy lifestyle instead. Okay, so, so there's really no diet that can actually keep the weight off forever? There is a diet that can keep the weight off forever, and that is the diet that you can follow forever. So if you like to have a chocolate brownie now and then, or a glass of wine occasionally, then that's what you need to do as you're losing weight. And it, it's, it's clear that you can lose weight while enjoying occasional tr um, treats. The secret is that you need to listen to your body and eat only when you feel physically hungry. And that's what I did, that's how I lost the 28 kilos, and I've kept that off for over 10 years. Because we're in the habit of, oh, it's 12 o'clock, eat lunch, even if you've had a big breakfast or, you know, morning tea, that sort of thing. So this yo-yo dieting, a lot of people fall into the trap um, for certain events and things. Just forget dieting, is that what you're saying? Absolutely, you don't need to follow an external plan in order to reach your, your ideal weight because our bodies are actually genetically programmed to be an optimum healthy weight. And the trick is that as long as you get in touch with those hunger signals and listen, okay, it's 12 o'clock, am I really hungry? Am I physically hungry or is it just clock hunger? Mm. And if you do feel hungry, eat. And if you don't feel hungry, do something else that's fun that doesn't involve eating. Mm. Right. And, and managing it with an exercise program and the right portions, I suppose, go hand in hand with that. Absolutely. Exercise is essential for permanent weight loss. But as you see in Oprah's story, she's, she's really tired, she's given up on the gym. The thing is, research shows that you don't have to get all hot and sweaty to lose the weight and keep it off. And incidental activity can be really, really effective. It's, it's proven to be effective. So get yourself a pedometer. Yeah. And if you're getting 8,000 to 12,000 steps per day, you're doing great. Okay. okay. So take, take the stairs instead of the lift or the escalator. That's right. All those um, incidentals, they really add up. And you don't have to do them all in one hit. hit. You don't have to do half an hour of stair climbing. Mm. A little mm. bit here and there okay. through the day. Forget the diets. Okay. Sounds like the main thing, doesn't it? Thank you, Matt. Thank you very you. much. Pleasure.